I'm Chris Boswell, mayor of the city of Harlingen. Uh, from Anita, my wife and I, we hope that you had a wonderful new year and a great holiday and Christmas season, and that you're starting out the new year right. Uh, but today, we wanna to talk a little bit about what the situation with our COVID-19 uh, pandemic is here in our community and in the Rio Grande Valley. As you know, we continue to suffer from the COVID-19 and although it's great news that our vaccinations have begun in the Rio Grande Valley and here in Harlingen and Cameron County, we still have to remember that we're not out of the woods. Uh, the virus is continuing to spread, it's continuing to afflict people and our healthcare providers, our emergency care providers are asking the public to please continue to remember the three W's, wear a mask, watch your distance, and wash your hands. Avoid crowds, and remember that if you're meeting with even a family member who's come in from out of town, they may have had contact with someone who has COVID-19. So please continue to be very, very careful. Uh, and even though we have vaccinations that have begun, it doesn't mean that we're not gonna continue to experience uh, more uh, cases in our community and more hospitalizations. To give you an example, just two months ago in early October, we had about 40 cases of COVID-19 in our hospitals. Uh, today, we have over 120. So just in two months, that number has gone up three times. Even worse, in the state of Texas, two months ago, we had just over 3,000 hospitalizations. Today, there are 13,000 hospitalizations in Texas. That number's gone up four times in just this last 60 days. So it's important to remember to do all of the things that we need to do to keep us all from getting sick and overwhelming our hospitals, our hospital staffs, and our nurses and our doctors who are trying to care for us. Good news is, yes, the vaccine is uh, becoming available, but it is still in limited supply. And we need to remember that we just can't go to the hospital and show up and expect it to be given a vaccine. We're going to have to wait until those vaccines are distributed. They're going first to our healthcare workers uh, and then to people who are over 65 years of age and then to people who have uh, uh, certain conditions such as cancer, uh, coronary artery disease, kidney uh, disease, uh, and if you're pregnant, those are some of the kinds of conditions that can qualify to get the uh, vaccine today if there is some availability. So what the hospitals are asking you is to be patient uh, to stay uh, on top of things, do your research as to when the vaccine might become available, when you can get the vaccine. Continue to go to our city's website for updates on vaccine availability, where the vaccine might, uh, you might be able to get the vaccine and go to the Texas State Health and Human Services website to see who is currently eligible to get the vaccine. So again, be patient, but be sure to follow the uh, guidelines that we've been asking everyone to follow uh, of washing our hands, watching our distance, wearing a mask and avoiding crowds so that we can try to do our best to get through this until we can get enough people vaccinated where we can maybe get back to a normal situation. So we thank everybody who's been working so hard and helping and sacrificing we thank all of our first responders uh, and our uh, healthcare workers, our nurses. They're really heroes who have taken care of us during this time, uh, but we, they still need your help. So please continue to help them and we'll get through this as we always have. We'll get through this Harlingen Strong. Thank you.